with greed, materialism. Um, it, greed is idolatry, we're told. Um, it's putting something before God. Uh, it's worshiping the material. It's worshiping money. And we do it, uh, and we do it a lot. And First Timothy 6 uh, and other passages as well just really speak against, you know, the the love of money and its impact on our lives and telling us to be rich in good deeds, to give it away, uh, laying up for ourselves treasures as a firm foundation for the coming age. The coming age is life forever on the new earth. We got to change that perspective. And when we do, and we can't just do it, you know, you can't, how do you make yourself less greedy? Um, how do you make yourself generous? Well, there, there's only one way to give it away. There's only one way to break the back of materialism. That's giving a lot away. Because when we give it away, we prove to ourselves uh, that um, we don't have to have it to live on. And we prove to ourselves it's not our God. And that's what you do. So you don't wait until you feel like giving to give. You give, but the more you give, the more joy you find in it. And pretty soon, giving is so wrapped up in your life, you don't even think of it as a sacrifice. Other people look and they say, wow, you're giving. You're giving that all away? And often they don't know. In my case, they don't know what we give from our own personal income, from what the ministry pays us, but they know all the royalties go, uh, are given away. And, but I don't even think of it. I mean, I only think of it as privilege and joy. And, and the same thing with my family. Our kids are not going around hanging their heads because they're not going to inherit all this money uh, or, or these great houses and lands or whatever. And this is where the transformation comes in. You only overcome greed through giving more and more.